Are the jitters for the global banking sector over? That's the question that many anxious investors are continuing to ask after the weekend rescue of Credit Suisse by UBS. In the last half hour or so, the US Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen has continued to offer reassurances that the banking system is stable in a speech to bankers in Washington. She's been saying that the US government is prepared to help more banks if that's what's needed. The government's recent actions have demonstrated our resolute commitment to take the necessary steps to ensure that depositors' savings and the banking system remain safe. Our intervention was necessary to protect the broader U.S. banking system. And similar actions could be warranted if smaller institutions suffered deposit runs that pose the risk of contagion. Well, let's take a look at the latest on the financial markets and we can see things are in positive territory. A good open here in the United States with the S&P and the Dow both up. Similar picture in London and Germany. Investors perhaps um, accepting some of those reassurances from policymakers and politicians. I think we can move on and we can see some of the banking shares that are being traded here in London. HSBC, Standard Chartered, they're doing pretty well. So too NatWest. These are some of the stocks that lost value yesterday as those concerns uh, grew about UBS and um, Credit Suisse and that rescue deal, what it meant for the banking sector. Well, let's cross from London to New York and speak to our North America business correspondent, Samira Hussein, who joins us. Samira, thanks very much. Um, just wonder, what more has Janet Yellen been saying in this speech and what sort of reassurances is it giving to investors? I think, you know, based on that last clip that you played, the end was really the salient part of what she was saying. Not only is she reassuring everyone that, in fact, the American banking system is safe, but that they are prepared to go in and help any other banks that are struggling. And that has given a lot of people much more confidence that the extraordinary measures that we saw take place a few weeks ago when it came to the Silicon Valley Bank uh, and Signature Bank that the that the regulators here in America are prepared to step in and to offer support to other banks as well. So that has really reassured a lot of people in terms of the health and safety of the banking system here in the United States. You talk about um, those reassurances, but First Republic is another U.S. bank that is in trouble. There are efforts going on to rescue it, led by um, Jamie Dimon of, of J.P. Morgan, one of the biggest banks on Wall Street. What impact is that having? Are we seeing something? Is that working? Between the rescue efforts that are being mobilized by J.P. Morgan and Jamie, spearheaded by Jamie Dimon, and the reassurances that we've heard just now from Janet Yellen, we're seeing that shares of First Republic have jumped up by more than 25% in trading today. Remember that the bank shares had cratered by more than 75% over the last week and a half as investors were very concerned that it could possibly be the next bank to fail. But these kinds of reassurances coming from the banking sector and from the Treasury Secretary has really lifted confidence in the bank's stability. And Samira, how much of this newfound confidence that we're seeing on the stock market is investors thinking perhaps the US Federal Reserve, the central bank, will hold off when it comes to raising interest rates? They are, of course, ending their two-day meeting tomorrow. And the expectation had certainly been that, that they would put interest rates up. Yes, and I think that's pretty much the consensus still, that they are going to raise interest rates, but by a quarter of a percentage point. And then we will hear more from Jerome Powell and his colleagues in terms of what their thinking is. Remember that the Federal Reserve is caught in a tough position. It still wants to fight inflation and was being seen as being too slow to actually tackle inflation, and they didn't raise interest rates fast enough. But now we're seeing the impact of that in fast rising interest States is having on other parts of the American economy. Smeri Hussain, thank you so much for the latest on the banking sector there in New York.